So this is the Viper. It's a Battlestar Galactica themed uh, fully functional flight simulator. It can go 360 degrees on both axes. Uh, it can spin that way and that way, which that's what it means. And uh, there's a bunch of other videos you can watch, which uh, we'll put up. And yeah, so we're just going to do a unedited basically fly through of what it is and just a quick run through. So first uh, you get in and inside the cabin there's a lot of theming that we spent um, probably four like refining so we have the foot holders here and turn the GoPro on okay so first you're gonna want to get uh, buckled into the six-point harness which is uh, actually from a race car so we got that and that's same with the seat ah. I'm going to get the uh, armrest too. You can hear the radio chatter on background. Yeah, so all of the, the visuals and uh, sound effects were recorded or uh, taken off the show for just kind of making you feel like you're actually in a Viper. And now we're going to use the helmet, which has uh, speakers in it and a mic hooked up to uh, team speak, which goes to the operator, so if there's any problem during the flight, I can talk to the operator and they can take it down. And there's also the uh, mood lighting controls, so you can turn off the bottom, turn off the top. Yeah, okay, so now we're going to be unbraced, which means we're going to be uh, not, like, secured to the ground anymore, so we're going to kind of rock back and forth there for a second. So now we're going to be um, put to basically flat by the uh, operator, and then they're going to calibrate that as uh, zero, so the game will know that that is what flat means. And then we're going to start the game and get into the flight experience. So they're walking back and forth, that's uh, going on right now, that's the, uh, that's the motors on the motion platform sensing that the... Uh, cabin is tilting a bit to like the left or right and then it's um, adjusting to that so it just kind of rocks back and forth okay so we're gonna uh, yes yeah, so we're gonna launch the game now and uh, so this is launching flight gear which is an open source um, it's an open source like flight game you can fly around uh, like Google Maps worlds and stuff so this is actually loaded for uh, to start off in SFO you take off and you can fly over San Francisco I think we're gonna go fly around, maybe go under the Golden Gate Bridge or something. Uh, yeah, so there's also the um, ESP and the lights and all of the buttons, and that's all there just to make it seem like a um, inside of a Viper on like a TV show, or a, a fighter on like a TV show or um, something else. Uh, also, these three engine panels, or engine switches, will uh, prime and indicate when each one's in and you hit the red fire button, and that will go to green, which means that the engines are online. So now we can uh, take off our parking brake. Okay, yep. And ease forward on the thruster, or throttle. Sorry. So we're going to start taking off. San Francisco, and to the right is um, the San Mateo area, so we're going to take a left, and behind us, we will uh, get to fly over downtown San Francisco, which will be fun. Okay, uh, in order to do any real tricks, you got to get above uh, the first cloud level to get some good altitude. Unfortunately, we don't have any... Um, uh, panel 
clouds or anything that show the uh, altitude from this view, but you can actually push the auto start button to get the cockpit view. And the um, altitude is the one in the middle, I think, yeah. Yeah, and you also usually fly with the door on, so it's a more concealed, uh, it's just, it's more, it feels like a more personal experience. But uh, for the sake of being able to see, like, how do I do it? I'm just going to pull my gear up. I'm not doing barrel rolls with my wheels down. Okay, so once we take a second to um, get a bit of altitude, then we can start doing some tricks and fly around and have a bit of fun. Right now, we should be passing over the, um, I think it's like the industrial area of San Francisco. Okay, so we're getting pretty high now. Um, it's going to gain a bit more altitude and then. Uh, do a few flips, or maybe barrel roll. We also have a webcam right there. Uh, that doesn't actually do anything right now because it, uh, it is its own website and like sets up this whole control panel, but um, it takes a while to get working, so for now it's basically useless. But we should be high enough to do a barrel roll and a few tricks now, so I'm going to start tilting this way, and if I crash, then I'll be ending up in the Oh yeah, uh, hold on, I gotta get it a little bit higher. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna go over. Now we're gonna disable our engines because we're gonna, um, if we had our engines on, we'd be flying towards the ground. But instead, we're just gonna wanna glide down. So now we're gonna turn it back on to pull up pretty quickly. We gotta get ourselves straightened out here a bit. And as you can see, there's a tiny bit of lag between the, um, the controls and the, uh, or the visuals of the game and the motion of the simulator. That's just because uh, it's really hard to get it perfectly synced up. So there is the, uh, the Bay Bridge uh, in downtown San Francisco. And we're going to go find the Golden Gate Bridge over there. Side. So take it over by the, the Bay Bridge and make sure we've got a good angle. There's also Alcatraz, so maybe fly by there and give it a little visit. Okay, so we're getting pretty low over here. I'm going to try to get a bit lower. Ah. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough. Uh, okay, here we go. Got to get low. We got to get lower. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Okay, yeah, there. That was it. Okay, yeah, let's get some altitude before we crash again. I think I'm going to go a little bit higher and try to get some... Maybe do a flip or something. Pull back. So now I'm at a 90 degree angle. Oh, I'm stalling out. Oh no. So the plane has basically just lost control. I gotta pull up as fast as I can or else I'm gonna crash into the bay. So I'm gonna disable my engine so I'm not flying down. Uh, I'm gonna also turn my engines off so I just kinda give myself some more. Back on. Okay, and then um, I think we'll uh, crash into the bay and just uh, cut it out there. Okay, so yeah, uh, this is like the worst position to crash in. Crash, you're actually stuck in the position that you crashed in for a while. Uh, so that'll be turbo attack to zero. So I'm stuck upside down right now until I'm brought back to a comfortable position. Alright, so we're 
so I turn off the game there, and um, yeah, turn off my engines, and that was the Viper. So that's basically just a run through of what it feels like to be on the inside of a uh, Viper from Battlestar Galactica, for some reason flying over uh, Golden Gate area. So now we're going to be brought back to um, brought back to zero again, and then pinned in. So we're braced and uh, basically just stationary for until we're unbraced. Put the armrest up and. Uh, You can uh, take off the helmet and undo the six-point harness. And that's the Viper.